Hey guys, how y'all doing? I hope y'all doing well. I am back with another video, and if you're new here, thank you for stopping by, and uh, I'm just going to kindly trap you over here until you subscribe. Um, will I be able to leave once I am subscribed? <laughs> All right, let's carry on. So one day I was on the computer race typing, you know, as one normally do. And then I wondered, can I make the computer type for me? Like automate the keyboard to simulate key presses onto the screen. So that's what we're gonna try doing today. But why are you doing this? I hear you asking, right? Well, for two reasons. Number one, I've never coded a bot before. So I am interested to see how I would go about doing that. And my second reason is to destroy, completely decimate anyone who can type faster than me. I can type at average speed, like around 50 words per minute, but I can't type crazy fast like in the hundreds or two hundreds. But I still like to practice and race other people online because it's fun. This site right here is called PBR and that's where I usually go to practice and race other typists. Here's a sample. As you can see, I am not too bad, but every now and then there would be that one f***ing person who's the Usain Bolt of typing. They be making me feel like I'm typing at two words per minute. One moment I'm feeling like the Flash, but when they pop up, I feel like I'm Billy from the grim adventures of Billy and Mandy. And I don't like to be humbled, so I'm gonna call my big bro computer to teach them a lesson. They might think they're fast, but fat chance they'll be faster than a computer. And you might be thinking, but Ardens, isn't that cheating? <laughs> no, silly Timmy. I'm not cheating, I'm actually teaching you how to crush your competitors by working smarter and not harder. Let's begin. Like I said already, I have never automated anything before, so naturally, I just went on Google and searched how to automate the keyboard. And right before I clicked anything, I had got a suggestion that said how to automate the keyboard input using Python. And then I was like, oh, I'm familiar with Python. Turns out there are numerous Python libraries used to automate all sorts of things, including the keyboard. The library we'll be using is called PyInput. I had looked at its documentation and it didn't look too complicated to use, so that's good. After importing it, we get access to functions that will simulate key presses. We're gonna write a simple script that will make the computer type out whatever we tell it. If we write keyboard.type and put something inside these quotation marks like don't forget to subscribe and press enter, it'll type exactly that. It's that easy. Now it did that super fast. If I wanted to type something outside this IDE on like a Word document, I would have to move the cursor there before the code gets executed. I don't know about you, but I can't move at a clock speed of this number. So instead, we're just gonna have to delay when the code gets executed, like five seconds. Now let's try that again, but somewhere else. It works. Let's try it on the website. But before I do that, I'm gonna have to manually type all this gibberish in the code first, which is kinda annoying. So we'll fix that later. All right, let's run it. It did that so fast, it's funny. What would've took me like 15 seconds to do took this bloke less than a second. Let's do it one more time. Yeah, no, that's too fast. 
I can't have it doing that on the races because people will obviously know that I'm using a bot. So to make it more human like, I'll have it type each and every individual character in the text at a certain time. We can just use a for loop for that. Okay, now it's looking much more human. I'm gonna do it again, but a bit more faster this time. <laughs> yeah, good luck beating that. I don't think I need to make it any faster. Nobody is beating that. I guess now the only problem I need to tackle is finding a way to make the computer get the text without me having to manually type it in. My first approach to this was to make the computer take an image or a screenshot of the screen where the text is and then convert the image file to a text file. At the time of this recording, I have zero f***ing clue on how to do that. So I'm gonna do what programmers do best and go Google it. What follows is a brief construction montage. We hope you enjoyed this brief construction montage. All right, so after countless hours of losing my mind to finally reaching insanity, I managed to find a way to take a snapshot of the screen where the text is and then extract that text from the image. I'll use a module called PyAutoGUI to take the screenshot and another module called PyTesseract in OpenCV to extract the text from the image with the help of optical character recognition technology. Originally, I was going to use KeyBR as the site to use this bot, but it's giving me problems. If you look closely at the text where the spaces are, you see these little lines. Now I know they resemble spaces, but the computer doesn't know that. Instead, it thinks they're underscores. So when it should be pressing the space bar, it's pressing underscores. I thought I could do a quick simple fix by making an if statement that says, hey, if you see an underscore, press the space bar, okay? And that kind of worked for a while, but sometimes it just do whatever it wants. Sometimes it presses the spacebar, sometimes it presses an underscore, and sometimes it just ignores both. Another issue I was dealing with is how the website highlights the first letter in black. So when the computer takes a screenshot with the highlighting showing, it just doesn't know what that letter is and completely gets it wrong. So with that being said, I can't be f***ed fixing and dealing with all that. So we'll be moving to a different site, TypeRacer. There's no highlighting, no fake underscores, and no bullshit. We're ready for some typing action. We're about to dust these fools. All right, cue the music. What? So apparently, TypeRacer has taken measures to discourage people like me from playing on their website. They have a system where you'll be prompted a typing test if you reach a typing speed over 100 WPM. And uh, I hit 416, which isn't human at all. So I thought, okay, I'll just take the test, no big deal. Boy, I failed every single time. The challenge looks like the things you'll see in CAPTCHA tests, where you have a string of numbers and letters that are stretched and manipulated in a way that makes it difficult for a computer to read, but easy for a human. And I'm thinking, if my bot had trouble reading a text just because it was highlighted, ain't no way it was about to pass this test. I don't know how I was going to bypass this. I was stumped. But then, I had a genius idea. Something so clever, not even Einstein could compete. I clicked refresh. Let's continue. <laughs>
so that's the end hopefully none of y'all took this video too seriously i did this mainly for educational and entertainment purposes but before i go i got some news i won't be posting in a while and i know how can i say something like that when i barely post but uh yeah i just got other things higher in priority that deserves my attention stuff like school and work it's nothing serious i can't tell you when i'll post again but i'll be back so <laughs> please don't leave but anyway i hope you enjoyed this video leave a like leave a comment share and subscribe i'll see you then and uh take care and you might be thinking and you might be thinking, <clears throat> and you might be, oh my god, <clears throat> water. And you might be thinking, but Arden's isn't, and you might.